All right. Welcome once again to the Beatzilla PDX official news break. And this uh, is about a historically black university called Copen State. And uh, as you can see on the screen, um, Copen State is in their tether bag. <clears throat> so let, let's check it out. Look at what you're looking. They just named uh, about a week ago Miss Copen State. And this is a, like I said, HBCU out of Baltimore. So let's uh, read this article real quick. This is from uh, BET, uh, came out on February 6th. It reads, Kaylin Perez made history as the first Latina to be crowned Miss Copen, Miss Copen State at <clears throat> Miss Copen State at HBCU in Baltimore. Although she ran unchallenged for the title, the 22-year-old's new title did not sit well with some of with some who felt she did not deserve it because of her ethnicity. Well, it is an historically black university, so that does make a little bit of sense. Perez, who was a nursing major and a sergeant in the Army Reserves, posted a fun TikTok video titled When Both Baltimore HBCUs Mr. and Mrs. See Each Other. She told the Baltimore Banner, 80% of the video's comments are attacking Perez for being Latina and Miss Coffin State. An Instagram post from Perez was over a thousand comments, many full of hate remarks. Um, <clears throat> see, when stuff like this goes on, family, uh, I, they then they start turning to the hate thing. Maybe it might be looked at hateful for you kind of um, inserting yourself. Well, she ran in the challenge. So again, uh, that does speak to the element of, of people around her at this HBCU. But of course, we're looking at a historically black university which sought to make a Latina, who is not, of course, uh, historically black, um, you sought to make a Latina the representative and the face of your university when you do things like that. So here's a, a, a post from her. I believe this is on Twitter or Instagram. It says, the past 24 hours have been overwhelming, a whirlpool of emotions. This is not the first time that I have received such hate from being the first Latina at Miss Copen, as Miss Copen. I just prayed... I wouldn't continue to see those comments. It took a large toll on me last year when HBCU Buzz announced that I was the first Latina. The amount of DMs and comments on the social media platforms, including LinkedIn, addressing me in so many ways. I understand I am not black. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I am a non-black student serving as a student leader I completely respect everyone's opinion. See, that part I have a little issue with because actually, no, you don't. Because it should not even go, it shouldn't even have to be said. You are at a historically black university, ma'am. Everybody else around you is black. And for the face of who's going to be representing a Black University in the city of Baltimore, nonetheless, one of the most heavily black cities in America. And you're representing the student body of that school. That's not an opinion. That's a problem. That's why I wanted to put all of these pictures on the screen so you could see just what's going on. Because see, what we're looking at right here is an agenda. This is not an accident. This is an agenda. And it's an agenda to start, because remember, I keep stressing this on all of my videos, that Joe Biden is trying to make Latinos, Latina, and Hispanics a race. Not just an ethnicity but a race. So like she spoke on ethnicity. Now, when you think about that, they're trying to get into the black category. So now they're already weaving and tethering in 
in the HBCU rankings, even so much so to say, let's crown her Miss HBC. So let's let's crown her the face of black people. And she's talking about opinions. I'm sorry, ma'am. That is not an opinion. We can blatantly see what you're doing. Don't let college fool you that you can talk your way out of blatant, overt disrespect to black folks. Um, let me let me look at let me look at this. Uh, uh, let me go read this on because there's another little video I wanted to play that some of these other uh, future bear winches and um, suspected mammies were uh, coming out with. And in support of this female, um, in support of this gesture right here, which is not a positive gesture at all. Let's see. It says, uh, it was a mixture of me invading their space. How did Coppin allow this to happen? And they, uh, and that they are confused and black people can never have anything. She told the banner. Okay. Again, why did you run? It reads, I knew that <clears throat> I knew that it would happen when I first decided to run. So then you didn't care about anyone's opinion, ma'am. I knew it might take this route. I just tried to remain focused on what I have done for the university. It makes me feel better. Well, then again, you do not care about the black community's opinion. And this is not okay. Not in a little small situation, not in a big one. We are not the people to continue continuously be disrespected, although we will have some some uh, a mush mouse and and some of the mindless wonders come out here and start co-signing garbage like this. But no, 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 no. You do not get a chance to start wedging in a completely different group as the face of black folks. That is not okay. Not our history. That is such a disrespect. That is such a disrespect to our ancestors. It goes on to read. <clears throat> Perez, whose parents are originally from Guatemala, also said she has never considered stepping down as Miss Copen State. She also praises the HBCU for helping her form relationships in her field and being a safe space from her high school in Glen, Glenag, Glenag, Maryland, which has been in the news for hate crimes. <laughs> wow. Wow. See, we have to we have to start dealing with these um, homegrown tether agenda individuals because they allow stuff like this. And this is not going to benefit your community. All now she's the face of it. That benefits her. That does not benefit your community. And you're representing Baltimore. I mean, this is absolutely outrageous, man. And wrong. I can't stress that enough. This is wrong. <sighs> goes on to read, <clears throat> despite the hate online, she has received tons of support from the Coppin State University. The university said in a statement, Kaylin represents Coppin well in her word and deed with grace, humility, and resilience. She is a great ambassador for our university, our diverse student body, and all we stand for. Eagle Nation stands with Kaylin Perez, and we are proud to call her our 91st Miss Copen State University. Let me go back to something that the, they just said, though. Our diverse student body. This is a historic. See, here's the problem. An HBCU is not necessarily supposed to be so diverse because it was here for a specific purpose. And that purpose did not include diversity. So now you're changing the hit. I hope you guys are paying attention to what's going on here. 
Your whole history is being attacked, Black family. From inside and from without, this is what's going on. I mean, if you could see people t- up here trying to hold on to that Confederate flag, you should at least be trying to hold on to the uh, uh, respect of your ancestors and the, the respect that they are due. Because this right here is ridiculous. Uh, it goes on um, to say, this isn't per- <laughs> this isn't Perez's first title at the HBCU. She was crowned the university's Miss Sophomore and Miss Junior. And she is also a member of uh, Chi Eta Phi, which is a sorority for nurses. Kaylin is expected to graduate from Culpin State this May. So what this actually points out is how immigration has benefited other people, immigrants, specifically in this case. And now we have an, an, a whole immigrant. Well, she's a, a anchor baby because her parents, well, they don't say where she's actually from neither because they say whose parents are originally from Guatemala. Doesn't say where she was born though. So let's just be clear that it doesn't necessarily say that she was born in this country. <laughs> what can you say, family? This is Copen State's tether bag. And so they're trying to get in front of uh, this wave and they are really holding on to this. This country is doomed. It is doomed, not just because of African-Americans, but because by 2040, this country is going to be minority white European. Hear me? Minority white European. And you guys are going to have to start working more with Hispanics who make up a larger portion of the population. Y'all do. Yeah. So obviously they took that to heart over here at Coppin State University in Baltimore uh, because that's that's what's going on. But but before we go, I want to play this last little video uh, just so you could see all of the other people who did come out in support of this madness. Um, And so we can understand what opposition, what real opposition sometime looks like. We have to deal with this reality as well. An HBCU queen is a woman that represents her college or university with pride, joy, love, and an unmeasurable amount of commitment. So to our Miss Coppin. To our Miss Coppin. To our Miss Coppin to our Miss Coppin State University. Continue to lead with love and know that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Continue on the path God has destined for you and know that eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard all he has planned for you. Continue being you and most of all, continue being the queen that you are meant to be. Keep your head up, wear your crown high and continue to impact, to inspire and to educate with your soft spirit. I love your sweet spirit, your beautiful smile, and your perseverance in serving the university as you always have. Always remember, it's not what's outside, but what's inside that counts. I love how brave you are, and I love how you exemplify the essence of grace. Never dim your light, because you are such a beautiful person, and you deserve to let your light shine. You are truly the definition of what it means to be a queen. Continue to shine and reign on with your crown held high in your head as the queen that I know you are and the queen you are destined to be. To be able to watch you shine your light inside and out has been amazing. And remember to never dim that for anybody. Don't let anyone tell you that you were not meant to be the HBCU queen that you are. You are reigning with so much style, grace, and poise, and you inspire me every single day. Keep making an impact. Keep being graceful. Keep being the queen that you are and never give up. In these testing times, it is our hope that you draw inspiration and strength from what we all share. Keep your head up high and your crown straight. You are a queen and don't you ever forget that. I love how you lead with impact and don't let the naysayers get in your way. You're the best and I love you, queen. We love you, queen. Love you, queen. We love you. We love you, queen. We love you. I love you so much. We love you, queen. We love you, Miss Coppin. I love you, queen. We love you, queen. We love you, sister queen. 
We love you, Queen. We love you. So, <clears throat> black women, um, when you realize that you are aiding in your own erasure, um, because it's right now the Latina woman, um, tomorrow would be a trans woman. And you will be further and further away from the face of black womanhood. And it's because of these college educated soror, boule, next generation. They already have a groomed and ready class to come over here and sell black people out. And I hope you just got a good understanding of what it looks like. That's not a misogynist point of view because it's not me on the video. I hope you understand there's a certain appearance as well from all of these individuals. I would assume that Miss Corpin State, her hair is natural. <clears throat> I couldn't help but notice the majority of the women who were co-signing this uh, hair appears to kind of mimic her hair. Go figure. So what are we seeing here? We are seeing a whole new generation that is comfortable with selling black people out. Just like the old one was. And this is the problem with these uh, so-called HBCUs. And when you think about how everybody talks about education, 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 this is the education that they want you to have family. So that's why you're hearing so much. And we talk about reparations and the need for reparations. Why are you here? Uh, well, you know, what we need to do is go get education. See, we don't really need cash payments. What we need is land. And then we also need education. So if we have this is education, family. This is what education has gotten you. A more classy, fancy way of erasing yourself. Right in front of you. And you're doing it yourself. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> All I can say is, uh, Copen State University, shame on you and shame on all of you other women who co-signed this madness. Because again, we have uh, a real agenda out here that we are fighting for and you are blatantly fighting against it. And people wonder, well, why can't you get together? Because we have this class, these talented 10th type individuals who always are put in place to speak for black folks. And what are they speaking? They're speaking for other groups. They're promoting other groups in the midst of now. Why do you think right now would be the time over the past few years that they would be going out of their way to promote? the face of a Latina woman. It's because they're on board with the agenda of erasure of black folks and erasure of our agenda, quieting the storm, quieting the call for reparations. This is why they're here. That's what an HBCU is up to these days. Shameful. And you just heard the, the product of the HBCU itself. And they're talking like Democrats and the Democratic agenda, just like Joe Biden, to promote the buffer class over black folks as saying, this is literally, you're going to have to get used to working with the Hispanics. And look at what I've always said, and I've said it already. Joe Biden is trying to make them a race. So what, what was he really saying is that he is trying to muck up foundational black Americans claim so much that he is telling them what he wants to do. This is the agenda of the supremacy of uh, this evil empire here. So family, hashtag cut the check. 
Hashtag reparations. Hashtag reparations now. We have no time to waste, no time to play. And we have people in our own midst willing to sell out black folks. So let's be willing to get them out the paint as they need. Uh, so once again, this has been a Beatzilla PDX official news break. This one is Copen State's tether bag. And shame on you, Copen State. Baltimore, one of the blackest cities in America. You're promoting immigrants. So if you would like to support this broadcast, please do so. The cash apps and uh, PayPal will be in the description as well as uh, all the information to my social media, which is Beatzilla PDX on Instagram and uh, Twitter. I would say use those to find me uh, the easiest. And of course, like, share and subscribe uh, to this channel and this video and, um, you know, share this. You know, you can even text these. You can send them in a, a inbox. Uh, and let's spread the word of this channel, if you could. If you enjoy this uh, content and would feel that other people that you know would like this content, go ahead and share it with them, too. So with that being said, family, uh, y'all have a blessed day. And uh, man, again, shame on you, Carpenter State, because this is like they said in the article, we just can't have nothing. Shame on y'all. Family, stay black, stay vigilant, stay alive. Black first, Shalom. <laughs>